Today we're going over a step-by-step -step process and how to set up your Bolide iQ network camera. We're going to go over this first by hardwiring it and then removing it and setting it up wirelessly. Uh, first, the camera comes with a 12 volt DC power supply. Make sure that's plugged in and now we're going to go over the step-by-step -step process. First you're going to need a uh, wireless router connected to a network as, uh, as you can see there. Now you're going to hardwire it when you first open up out of the box to the network IQ camera with the, via the RG45 jack. You can tilt the bracket up to, to get it in there. You can see it fits in. Now that's done, you're going to take the CD that came with the camera and load it into your CD-ROM to pull up the software. The CD contains the software that you'll need to set up the camera. Uh, we copy that file onto the desktop. Once you open it, you'll see first the search assistant right there, and then the iCube exe file, the execution file. First, you're going to start off by opening up the search assistant. Select next and follow the steps to finish installing the software. And this will just take a minute or two to finish installing. Once it's uh, finished installing, just hit next and finish to complete the process. Uh, now you're going to open up the iCube exe file and proceed to install uh, this file. Once it's done installing, it's going to ask you to run the program. Uh, it'll take you to a login window, but we're going to cover that process a little bit later on. We're going to start by going into uh, setting up by Internet Explorer. So the first thing we're going to do is select the, the search assistant and then select search. What this is going to do is search for IP devices connected to the network. Your IQ is going to pop up and it's going to show two IP addresses one that's a LAN IP address and the other that's a Wi-Fi IP address. We're going to select the LAN address and what it's going to do is open up Internet Explorer to a login screen. The default password is going to be no password initially to log in and we can change that later. Now click play to stream the video and you see over to your left side all the menu items that you're going to need for the settings. and then the record button there uh, just beneath the video. The next step would be to set up the Wi-Fi configuration to use it wirelessly. You're going to scroll over to advanced config on the left side and select Wi-Fi configuration. Now on Wi-Fi config you'll see a menu that will prompt you to ask for routers that are tied into network to search for them. You hit search and you may see a few pop up. In this case our wireless network is named Bolide. In the case that your router requires a password, you go ahead and enter this below. And even further below than that, you want to make sure your IP address matches your wireless router address. Here the third number in the IP address is zero. You want to make sure the wireless router address is also a zero. To do that, you're going to go to the control panel. Select network connections. Right click on the wireless router. Hit select properties. Now select internet protocol and verify that the IP address with our wireless router matches the camera with that third number bringing a zero. Now that we've done that, select OK to exit out. Now you can go back to Internet Explorer and connect to our wireless router. Make sure you click on OK. Alright, now you can go back to Live View and we can disconnect the RJ45 jack from the back of the camera. 
as we are doing right now. And now that you can take a look, you can see it's disconnected and we are still viewing the camera, but now wirelessly. So there you go. That's how you connect the iCube network camera via Internet Explorer. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll do it using the CMS software.